welcome to the Actors Penthouse. I'm Brett. And I'm Noah. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have a very awesome guy. McLeish Day. Very nice to meet you. McLeish Day. Thank you for coming, McLeish. Thank you for being here. You are so incredibly dorky sexy. (laughs) Oh, thank you. (laughs) Dorky sex. McLeish has been with us from... I, you filmed your scene probably when we very first started as a company. 2010. Yeah. yeah. 2010. Maybe a little bit later than that. No. Actually, no. Yeah. Oh, no. We haven't even existed since <laughs> yeah. 2010. He's a liar. I almost believe no. him. That's how good of an actor he is. Yeah, he's a good actor. <laughs> um, anyway, McLeish has been with us for a, a while. He's filmed numerous scenes with us, numerous projects. Um, we've worked on his short films and helped him produce. Uh, many, many things. So, McLeish, why don't you tell us about why you're an actor and and some of your successes? I actually started out as an actor when my mom and her sister opened up their own dance company many years ago. It was the Boulder Performing Arts Company, and I started dancing when I was two, singing since I was eight, and acting since I was about 13 years old. And uh, my first experience with uh, theater was actually in The Jungle Book. Uh, which was a um, pretty much a uh, modern adaptation book to musical that they just decided to create. So I was like, okay, I'll do this. I play Mowgli, the basically in the loincloth, yeah. kind of like the Tarzan of the time in third grade. I'm like, I don't care, let's rock and roll. Ah! And, and just FYI for all you guys out there, um, he, McLeish is in our feature film Scramble, and he wears less than a loincloth in that. <laughs> okay. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, he's, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stated right there, man. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, when you're trying to do whatever you can to like get some decent work around here, I mean, right. You try Speaking to, about work, yeah. So what what shows have you ha, have you kind of been on? Like, what what shows do you want to get yourself out at? I want to want to try something a little bit more like Castle or a little bit more like Blacklist. Ken- Kendra Castleberry is Castle. Who does Blacklist? Blacklist, I believe it's either Kelsey DeLar or Deb, uh, Debbie Manweller. Debbie uh, Manweller. Okay, so Kendra and Debbie, yeah. we're coming after you. Check out McLeish's reel. Let's yeah. all right, let's let's cue it up. Let's see. So it. McLeish, let's show him your reel. Be thankful I saved your sorry ass before you had to find out what they were serving for lunch. I wish you would have come sooner. What do you mean? You look like a fit spring chicken, man. <laughs> I made other rangers! No! 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 You can keep beating it out of me and I ain't talking. I wouldn't get too far ahead of yourself. Go on, you son of a bitch. Do it. Kill me. Put a bullet through my brain. You won't see a penny of your precious money with me dead. We're the same age. Mm. And second of all, if I was a call girl, which I'm not, but if mm. I was, I'd cut the middleman out and keep the money for myself. Speaking of which, I have a proposition for you. I need you to get my uncle's bank codes from his laptop. Can you do that for me? Whoa, baby. That That was was good. That was, that was, like, better than being with you in person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, you know, it's... Uh, Nothing beats that. Uh, it's nice to have a little, like, portfolio and a little uh, conglomeration of, you know, pieces of work together, both um, comedy as well as a little bit more of, like, gritty action and yeah. drama. So, so with that, with that, I, we kind of skipped over it before. What, um, what are some of your accomplishments as an actor? As an actor, I was given the Fine Arts Award for uh, Best Actor in a Musical. Uh, when, in 2003, it was uh, literally during the summertime, I was given the opportunity uh, when one of the guys actually got sick before we were supposed to open on opening night, uh, they didn't have their leading man. Yeah. Um, so I literally was given the opportunity to perform in front of a thousand people in like, in just out of the blue, they were like, can you do this? We need you to memorize this within six hours. I said, yes. And you I'll just do it. dealt and with that pressure. I just dealt with the pressure, there. just continued to study the role as they were working through the rehearsal process. And through me stepping up to it, they were like, all right, we're, uh, that's incredible. we couldn't believe it. Uh, we got to uh, give you the fine arts award for it. That's, that's incredible. Congratulations. Any, any, any on camera achievements? On camera achievements, uh, was able to do a featured role on Meth Head with Lucas Haas, who was in Inception. Nice. Uh, got to work alongside Blake Barris from Days of Our Lives a little bit. So I really couldn't be happier with some of the people that I've gotten to work with uh, over that. So 
Yeah. yeah. I know you're also doing like a lot of producing also on, yeah. on that too. Yeah. Um, anything that you want to touch on on, on that experience? Uh, producing is very, it's a very fulfilling and a rewarding experience. And I encourage anyone that is wanting to produce some of their own content to do it because nowadays, it's very difficult to just have someone discover you and see you, especially with a lot of the content like on Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, <coughs> YouTube, Vimeo. Um, Vimeo. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. it's a good way to just find a group of friends, create and collaborate together, and really just find something that you all believe in and love. And for yeah. me, <clears throat> excuse me, it was more of like these romantic comedies and sort of the idea of what Love, Sex, and Promotions came out to be was I right. wanted to create something that was fun, exciting, and people could come together and be able to have a good time and enjoy some good You know, that's definitely that's definitely a challenge that actors face is getting out there, getting noticed. I mean, what are some of the other challenges and obstacles you've faced in your career, and, and how have you moved past them, or um, working to move past them? Be able to find other hobbies outside of it. I found cooking as sort of another fun hobby to do when I'm not working on acting or being able to listen to good music or going out and exploring stuff from like going to a different restaurant to a, you know, hotel to like seeing fun sporting events. Living, I think living it's- Living life. Yeah, yeah, just living your life at that point is really just a great way to just recharge, sort of get some creative juices flowing to then move forward to be like, okay, do I wanna now go back into what I did before with, you know, acting or dancing or singing. Now, is there are there any habits that you use, especially that you could tell teach Noah so he could go and live life? <laughs> <laughs> I think just be being and doing, man. Just be you, do you, and just don't let whatever anyone else says about you like especially deter you from your path. Well wow. Yeah, especially me. <laughs> You're the fun duo. Don't let duo. me hold you back. You guys are fun duo to be with. So. Right. Yeah. Cool, man. Awesome. Awesome. So, any uh, any last parting advice to leave with your with your fellow actors out there? Um, Keep at it. Don't let anyone tell you that you are not creative. You are strong. You are awesome. You are unique. And that is basically my message. Great. And then cool. before we sign off, just uh, how do we connect with you and social media? Social media. You can find me on Facebook. Tell, you can tell, find me on one. Twitter. You can find me on Instagram at MacJDay or McLeish.Day on Instagram or you can find me at www.MacJDay.com or Man. you can find me on Pinterest anywhere yeah. McLeish Day you'll find me can't miss it you can find him anywhere and you can find his ass in our movie yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll cut that one <laughs> I think you probably yeah. well McLeish thank you so much for being on the Actors Penthouse and uh, thank you all for watching we'll oh, see you next time before we go oh, no? I gotta oh. uh, give you guys a little parting gift I see uh, that you got like a little uh, wine collection going oh, here yeah. so I wanted to yeah. give you guys a little Zinfandel oh, oh, some oh, little oh, white wine. Wine. Yeah. Yeah. Thank great. you to our well, studio well, audience. We have a studio audience today. Oh. Great. Um, Pacificana. Yeah. yeah. There's Thank a pretty you, lady. There's a pretty lady. Well, if there's, I can imagine there's a pretty lady on this one. I'm going to put it in the collection. There you go. So feel free to bring yeah. us gifts or send us gifts. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to have a... Whatever you want. You guys are the best. Check out lareels.tv.com or check out lareels.com. They are the best. Check them out. Yeah, the second one. Or the second one. We'll have right. the first one now, though. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. See you next time. Later.